Just start with telling us who you are, where you're from, and what, what you do. Yes, my name is Hodge Flemings. I'm the founder of Rebrand Cities. I'm based out of Detroit, Michigan. And what we're all about is eradicating the digital divide. My name's Adam Silverstein. I work uh, for 10UP, and I primarily work on contributing to open source. Hi, I'm uh, Gijs from uh, Safi Managed WordPress Hosting. I'm here today at the Contributor Day for WordCamp Europe. Um, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Afsana Multani uh, uh, from India. My name is Peter Kakoma. I'm from Kampala, Uganda. I'm Ben uh, from Elementor. All right, Ben. And what do you do at Elementor? I'm the CMO. CMO, great. And is this uh, your first contribution or are you... A veteran. I was uh, in WordCamp Europe last year, but uh, actually I wasn't in the Contributors Day, so it's my first uh, WordCamp Computer Day. Uh, is this your wor first WordCamp, or are you a veteran? Um, I guess I'm kind of a veteran slash newbie, so I've been to two WordCamp US's. I'm, this is my first WordCamp Europe, so I'm a newbie here, and, uh, and I've been to a couple in the United States. So I'm a veteran. Yes. So how long have you been... Uh, Probably involved. about six years contributing to WordPress Core. Six and I'm years. I'm also a core committer. Core committer. Oh, that's great. So, for the people who don't know what that what that is, could you explain it? Just very. It means that I can take code and actually put it into WordPress itself. So I can look at existing tickets and approve them, and if I uh, and when they're ready, I can merge them into Core. Is this your first WordCamp, or are you a veteran? Um, I would say somewhere in between. Uh, I've been visiting WordCamp since uh, five years ago, but I, I know that for sure there are people that visit a lot more WordCamps than I do, okay. so I guess that's my, my somewhere 10th WordCamp or something like that. Okay, great. And why are you contributing today? I'm contributing today because I believe that you have to eat your own dog food. So um, that's kind of a terminology in America, not sure if it's used here, but the goal is, is that is that we want to be able to get and, and to be example of what we need other people to help us do to be able to help small business. And why do you think it's important to contribute to, to WordPress? Why do you contribute? Um, I, you know, it's a combination of reasons. Some of it is selfish. I have learned a tremendous amount working in core uh, from other people, from digging into the internals of WordPress as a developer. It's a great way to learn about it, to really understand how WordPress works. Um, I also feel like it's a moral obligation to contribute back to the software that's made my livelihood possible. Um, so I do it out of uh, some good, you know, community-based uh, feelings of trying to make the thing better for everyone. I love the fact that, well, it's a, it's, it might not be widely known, but WordPress powers one in three websites. So that means there are so many people out there who are not very technical, who need help with learning the ropes. Um, but it also means that it's creating a livelihood for so many people, and yet it's an entirely open source tool. So if there are no people who are giving into the WordPress ecosystem, none of this stuff will be possible. And why do you think it's important to contribute to WordPress? Well, the whole open source project, you see how successful it is, how important it is to millions of people. Yeah. Uh, and that's, it has a symbo symbolic importance and also a, an actual importance where people actually promote and help and uh, improve. If you take the minds of so many talented people and put them together, you can make so much more than you know a single uh, company can ever make. Why are you contributing? Because I think it's important for all of us to make WordPress better, um, to, so to speak, to increase the size of the pie. So if we all make WordPress a better product, then all of us can be more successful in our business around the WordPress uh, ecosystem. Okay. And what are you working on today? I'm a part of the community group, and so the exciting part about being a part of the community is that we're creating events that are interesting to be able to pull together the same people that we're targeting, so business owners and developers. We are going to focus on um, improving or finishing uh, some case studies to put on the WordPress.org website, and those case studies um, should help people choose WordPress over other CMSs. For us, it's the obvious thing to do, but not for everyone yet. Today we're working on upgrading jQuery in Core to version 3. Okay, so for the non-tech people, what does that mean? 
So Jay well, how Query, is it going to help us? Yeah, so jQuery is a library that is um, was very popular some years ago, but it's a library that helps write JavaScript that works across a wide variety of browsers. It's the library that we've relied on in WordPress to write most of our JavaScript. And the version that we have in WordPress core is quite old. Um, and it's uh, this is about bringing it up to the latest version and also fixing all the things that break by doing that. Uh, what are you working on today? Okay, today we are working on uh, support. We give support uh, to the people who require uh, uh, those who have a question on a query for the uh, for the plugins themes. So we just uh, we just go through the, those questions and we just answer them and help help them out on the WordPress support dot org. I look forward to at the very least closing. Uh, I love coding, so I look forward to. Uh, at least closing one ticket um, in, in the code aspect of things. Um, that's that's my very low entry goal for today, okay. at the very least. Yes.